Thanks for being on the show, Kevin. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, you, you, I'm sure you didn't get your start in the Winston West Series. You started out, I'm sure, in late models on the West Coast, sir. I actually started racing go-karts when I was five years old and um, raced that until I was 16 and progressed to the late model ranks uh, on the West Coast at Mason Moon Raceway. And, uh, you know, I we went to the Southwest Tour in the Winston West and then uh, ran a couple of truck races and, uh, you know, just kind of went through everything out there and made the move and, um, you know, got kind of lucky. So. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of those opportunities that a lot of people don't get, and hopefully I can take advantage of it. For the 1999 season here, you seem to have been the hot commodity amongst car owners and the truck series. You talked about a lot. You seem to have been a, 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 a hot prospect. Uh, you mentioned luck, but I'm sure a lot of that had to do with, with where you placed yourself. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, the, the truck team I'm with right now, Porter Cable and Liberty Racing, uh, you know, we had some awesome runs at the beginning of the year, and you know, we've been kind of stagnant since then, so uh, you know, a lot's happened, and uh, it's just one of those deals where um, I was in the right place at the right time, and everything was going good. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to next year. Run with AC Elko in the Bush Series and uh, Richard Childress Racing, an uh, awesome bunch of guys, and uh, we're just trying to get some seat time here, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens next year. Now, you were the champion last year in the Winston West Series, but you also run in the trucks. What kind of, how does a driver able to? differentiate between the two? How are you able to emotionally separate yourself and prepare? Well, I mean, the cars and the trucks are basically the same. It's just, um, you know, they have a little bit of a wheelbase difference and a big aerodynamic difference. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals where, um, you know, if you're not doing everything the same weekend, it's okay. But when it comes the same weekend, uh, especially if, you know, the Winston West ran on bias plies every once in a while. So uh, you have to kind of take your mind and make sure you're in the right seat. So, uh, you know, I've always, I've always diversified diversified myself and running a lot of things and uh, I think it helps when it came to that and uh, you know this weekend we're running I ran the trucks last night in Texas and Talladega today and going to Bakersfield to run a late model tomorrow so uh, I'm used to racing a lot of different things in one weekend. How in the world does a guy get into the seat of a Richard Childress prepared race car because that that is one of the more premier rides in all of stock car racing but it is a new ride. Yeah I mean uh, luck i mean i was in the right place at the right time and um you know we happened to be running good and and um everything just happened to work out right and you know i'm very fortunate for what i've been given and um you know i, I hope that we can take advantage of it uh, we got some big shoes to fill with ac delco and uh dale earnhardt jr so um uh, we're looking forward to the challenge you know it's going to be two teams uh, myself and mike dillon's going to be my teammate and um we work really good together, and the guys have worked really good together with, with all of us so far. So uh, we should be a strong two-car team next year. I mean, it's going to be more of a, a joint effort than, than anything, and um, we're looking forward to it. What does that do to a driver's, uh, I want to say pride, but his, uh, I, I guess we'd say self-esteem or whatever, to know that, that a car owner like Richard Childress has come calling and says, uh, or would even consider you and say, yeah, not only are you going to drive the car, but at first even being considered. Well, I mean, it, it makes you feel pretty good. I mean, you're on cloud nine for a while, and then after everything happens, it's back to reality because, you know, it's time to you really have to perform. I mean, you have to step up to the plate, but, I mean, it makes you feel good. I mean, you work so long and so hard trying to get to where you want it, and, and uh, it happens. Um, hopefully we, uh, we can make the home there for a long time, and I don't plan on going anywhere, so hopefully we can make it last a long time in the future. Do you feel any, any added pressure coming to the Childress team because you've progressed through the ranks, like you say, you started in go-karts, uh, into lay models, and now in, you're the Winston West champion, a little more of a spotlight in the truck series, and now you're going to the BGN series and, and into that seat that you're, you're going to drive for next year? I mean, there's going to be a lot of pressure. I mean, that Bush series is tough. I mean, there's 
65, 70 cars every week, and uh, you know, it's going to be a tough deal. We got a new team, but uh, we're looking forward to the challenge, and, and with the technology and the people that these guys have behind them at Richard Childress Racing, I think that the AC Delco Monte Carlo should be good next year. Now, you're a young guy that has come up through the ranks, and, and, a, and I guess by all intents and purposes would be a, a, the textbook way to advance through motorsports. Can you give me any advice to the, the next young guy that's coming up that's, that's perhaps lacing his go-kart or his quarter midget or whatever, and he wants to progress to the big leagues here? Well, I, I think the biggest thing to tell anybody is, is not to try and progress yourself too fast. If you're not ready to move up, don't do it. All you're going to make yourself do is look bad. And, uh, you know, I happen to be fortunate that my father took me through the right steps, and, and now I got fortunate enough to, um, you know, have an opportunity like this to take the next step. So uh, just don't try and do too much too fast because it will hurt you in the long run. Speaking of steps, I'm sure you've got some uh, goals in place. I'm sure you've got some steps you want to take. What do you want to see Kevin Harvick in the next five year, five years, ten years? Well, I mean, my ultimate goal is to race Winston Cup. Uh, you know, we've got three years in the Bush Grand National Series with AC Delco and Richard Childress, and uh, you know, after that, we'll just have to see what happens. And uh, you know, but hopefully, we're in Winston Cup in five years.